What's up everyone, we are back with yet another new laptop. So today I'm going to do an in-depth review of the HP Omen that comes with i5 13420H and RTX 4050. This is also my first 16-inch laptop that I get my hands on. In addition, the review will also include points about my personal experience and what I discovered after testing it out. So you can decide whether you should buy it or something else. But before that, join my telegram group where if you have any questions regarding the laptops or any other tech gadgets, you can freely ask. You can find the telegram group link in the video description as well as in the description of my channel. Alright, so let's talk about the specifications first. It is driven by a i5-13420H processor which has 8 cores in total, 4 of which are efficient and 4 of which are performance. There are 16 threads total. The laptop's main highlight is the 120W TGP RTX 4050 with 6GB VRAM. The display is a 16.1 inch 144Hz IPS with an 83% of screen to body ratio. Next up, it has a 16GB X8 module dual channel DDR5 RAM with a frequency of 5200 MHz. The X8 module is usually faster than the normally used X16 module, and the RAM in this laptop can be expanded up to 32GB total. Storage option includes a 512GB of PCIe Gen 4 NVMe TCL M.2 SSD, which can be upgraded up to 2TB, but sadly, there is not a second storage slot. Connectivity options include Bluetooth 5.0 and Wi-Fi 6E, with a frequency range of 160MHz. So the first thing we will talk about is the design and the construction of the HP Omen. The HP Omen 16 appears to be a fairly straightforward gaming laptop. Its black exterior, which lacks unnecessary sign, includes logo on the keyboard, but this time there is not the user Omen logo on the top of the lid. Instead, there is the Omen branding written. The touchpad is slightly offset despite its mostly plastic construction. The laptop has a solid and well-made feel, though it resists scratches but picks up the fingerprints really fast. While there is some flexibility in the screen and the keyboard section, it's not a major issue. The bottom stands are both sturdy and securely attached, adding to the laptop's overall stability. The base durability is due to large part to the substantial amount of hard plastic in its structure. In terms of weight and dimensions, the laptop weighs approximately 2.32 kilos and measures 59.6 by 6.9 cm, making it an excellent choice for a powerful gaming laptop. The weight distribution of the device is really great, you can easily open the lid with just one hand. Similar to the Victus, the hinge creates a slight concern as the plastic components stretch a bit when adjusting the lid. While similar to the Victus issue, it is less apparent in this case. Finally, on the top of the lid, you will find a Full HD web camera. The keyboard on the Omen 16 is truly impressive. It offers a spacious feel and follows a standard layout that's easy to adapt to. The plastic used for the keycaps is decent not exactly top tier but far from cheap. The keys are solid offering ample travel and delivering excellent tactile feedback. Adding to its appeal, the keyboard features four zones of customizable RGB lights which can be personalized using the Omen Gaming Hub. While the touchpad is quite big size with a smooth and responsive surface. It accurately tracks all movement and gestures without mistakes. And there are no problems with the palm rejections or common actions like dragging and dropping. Clicking anywhere on the touchpad is possible. Though more force is required near the top, the only potential area for the improvement is the tactility of the buttons which feels slightly soft. Now talking about the cooling system of the laptop. The fan inlets draw cool air from the bottom vents. Heat exhaust on the other hand takes place through two vents in the back and one on the left side of the device. Speaking of the internal setup, it consists of two heat pipes shared by the CPU and the GPU, with one more allocated to each of them. In addition, two fans, four heat sinks and two chunky slabs of metal manage the heat generated by the VRMs and the graphic memory. Now shifting our gears toward the ports, there are plenty of USB ports in this laptop including three with the familiar Type-A designs, each delivering fast 5GB USB 3 speeds and one with the more sleek Type-C setup. While the Type-C port located on the right is not an entirely Thunderbolt 4 port, it does provide an easy way to connect to a display. If you prefer a different route, don't worry. An HDMI 2.0 port is also available for the display connectivity. And as usual, there is an Ethernet port and an audio jack on the left. In contrast to its previous version, the previous Omen 16 carefully placed some ports on the back, increasing your options. However, the current model chooses for a side arrangement, with the ports mostly located on the right side for an improved aesthetic. The Omen 16 features a 1920x1080p screen for gaming. For the color coverage space, the 
the display has 47% of Adobe RGB, 63% of sRGB, 47% of DCI-P3 and 45% of NTSC. So you will have problems doing even basic color grading like saturation and tint adjustment and if you want to do advanced color grading using the lumetric scope then I would advise you to go with a color accurate monitor. The contrast ratio is high as usual with the separate blacks and nice dynamic. So in color grading adjusting the contrast, shadow, white and black will be easy to edit according to your personal taste. The display is better suited for gaming and media consumption. Now the peak brightness level of the display is about 215 nit which means the outdoor visibility of the display is almost zero but the good thing is that the backlight bleeding is very little now if you talk about the cpu the intel core i5 13420h part of the raptor lake s series is a mid-range mobile processor intended for laptops it came out in early 2023 and features four efficient cores as well as four performance cores when the performance and efficiency cores are combined the processor supports hyper threading which allows for a total of 16 thread so starting with cinebench r24 the results in the single core and the multi cores are more than adequate for basic CPU tasks and when paired with the RTX 4050, we can expect really good performance in apps like Premiere, DaVinci and After Effects, as well as a relatively good performance in 3D apps like Blender, AutoCAD, Unreal Engine and many more. However, understanding the performance comparison with the older processors becomes a bit difficult because there isn't much R24 benchmarks done on the older CPUs. So to compare performance, I'm using the older R23 data. Intel consistently outperforms AMD in single core result, even surpassing the older 6800H and the newer 7535HS. However, in multi-core scores, the i5-13420H only outperforms the 7535HS and follows the 6800H by 3%. Same story goes with the Geekbench 6 result. It travels the same path as the Cinebench R23 did. The PC Mark 10 score is a comprehensive measure accessing capabilities across the tasks like office productivity and the digital content work. With a score well over 6000, it strongly indicates robust performance. Comparatively, the i5-13420H outspaces the 7535Hs by 5% but falls behind the 12700H and 6800Hs by approximately 7 and 5.5% respectively. In 3 Mark, we have tested the laptop on three different benchmarks, the Time Spy, the Fire Strike and the Night Raid. In all three tests, the Omen 16 performed remarkable thanks to the 120W RDX 4050 included. The performance in the Blender 4.0 benchmark is excellent. While the CPU renders the scene quickly, the NVIDIA discrete GPU performs significantly faster. When we compare the Blender 4.0 CPU benchmark to the newer and the older chips, we can see a significantly lower category score than the other contenders. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 laptop GPU, which is positioned in the mid-range category, uses the AD107 chip and runs on the Ada Loveless architecture. With 2560 shaders, it has 6GB of GDDR6 dedicated graphic memory, a clock speed of 16GB per second and a 96-bit memory bus. Now without any more talks, let's dive straight into the gaming test. Regarding the battery, there is a large 83 watt hour pack which can run for a quite long time, more than 5 hours. When the brightness is lowered, power efficiency mode is enabled and the graphic is switched to the iGPU which is However, the battery life quickly runs out when a game starts. During gaming, the average battery life you can expect is around 1.5 hours. The Omen 16 has bottom firing speakers that can get quite loud while maintaining good sound quality at higher volume. Now these are the SSD's read and write speed. As you can see, these are quite large numbers, indicating the HP used a really good SSD this time. And I am really impressed by this thing. Heat development is also consistent with the competition. The GPU's maximum temperature of 72 degrees Celsius makes it unsuitable for lap gaming. The 60 minute stress test using the firm Mark and the Prime 95 tools didn't result in the CPU or the GPU throttling. While the Core i5 13420 p core got hot around 98 degrees Celsius and the E cores around 97 degrees Celsius. The GeForce RTX 4050 also settled at high yet is still uncritical 72 degrees Celsius. Fans are only audible when loaded. There are two modes, Max and Manual. 
the letter allows you to create a custom fan profile. In its attempt for cost effectiveness, HP has made few adjustments with the Omen 16. The screen brightness and the colors are insufficient. And the battery life, particularly when using the integrated GPU, leaves something to be desired. Despite compromises, the high TGP of the RTX 4050 makes up for its drawbacks. Improving Laptop's Overall Performance The Omen 16 stands out for its compact design and premium aesthetic, making this an appealing option for those who are looking for a perfect balance between the price and the performance. Talking about the price, at the time of making this review, the laptop was around 95,000 on Amazon, which is around 1300 to 1500 US dollars. But during sales, you can get this laptop as low as 90k, which is around 1200 US dollars. But if you want to get this laptop offline and are from Dehradun, then you can visit the computer store located in the capital center to get the best deals possible. For more details, check out the description down below. Now, if you are new to the channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future updates. I will see you in the next one. Till then, stay awesome, keep spreading positive vibes, peace out.